Hi Scorpio, I hope that everybody's doing well. Before we get into it, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. I'm seeing something that you may be um, holding some tension with, maybe a little bit preoccupied. I feel like this came through in another recent reading. It's like maybe you're worried about something. It, it almost feels like it could be um, more subconscious or in the back of your mind. Ooh, for some of you, it looks like you're starting a new job, um, a new role. Thinking about this, figuring it out. There's a sense of consideration here that I'm seeing. I'm looking at the King of Pentacles, I'm looking at the Page of Wands, and I'm looking at Justice. Yeah, it feels like trying to figure out a direction that's going to be right for you. Sorting this out in a way that feels right. It feels too like there could have been um, some obstacles that you moved beyond like through through this process. And now it feels like you've gotten to a place where um, you do feel like you overcame something and that you did it in a way that you feel good about as well, Scorpio. I'm looking at Libra and Cancer here. Yeah, for, for some of you, this is about like how you want to be, how you want to be using your innate talents. I'm hearing the word talent specifically. It's so like how you want to be using that, exercising that in a way that works for you. What do you feel like best showcases that? And there may also be something that um, something that you're not doing any longer. Like if you're switching projects or switching roles or something like that, there's also something that you're leaving behind in order to start this new thing that you're doing. But you're recognizing that whatever it was that you're finishing or letting go of, like, it's come time for this to close out. And there's a sense of being able to walk away from this and feel like it's timed out in a way and it's ready for you to start something new. For some of you, this can be about an interpersonal relationship. It's like something that you're moving away from because you feel like it's the right time to just leave this. And it may have taken you, um, it may have taken you a while too to get to this place. I'm hearing something about retiring. Interesting. That can be taken, um, multiple ways. Um, there's a sense of like needing to get over the hump or needing to move away from something that you were like, this is no longer proficient or it's no longer helping me in the way that I wanted it to, or I don't feel like it's sufficient, like in relation to my growth. And there's a sense of something um, like maybe being too disruptive or chaotic in some type of way. And this can even be a mind frame. And there's a sense now of being like, okay, it's time for me to move on. It's time for me to get away from this. And I'm seeing like this process of you moving. I'm seeing that that was the obstacle here. You moving to a place where, yeah, where things were more peaceful. It's like, this looks very much like a karmic test for me. Yeah, for some of you, this was definitely a relationship that you realized needed to end because there's a sense of you being like, okay, I see myself as being reliable. Like, I see myself as this person within a relationship. I see myself in relation to the love that I have to give. Um, and because of understanding yourself within this position, because of assuming this role that you want to be playing, there's a sense of... ending something that needed to end because it wasn't in alignment with what you have grown into now. And I'm seeing this be a move that you made like from a very conscious place too. I'm seeing with the with the justice card, 
like the, I'm seeing this be something like a balanced decision. This was something that you thought out. Definitely action that was taken, even if this is an internal process. Right next to the Four of Wands, I'm looking at Aries and Scorpio. Yeah, you you deciding to walk away from this, whatever it was that you had going on with this person or this job, whatever it is for you, there's a sense of you knowing that it's time to move on from this. And because of that, it's like you're going through this whole transition right now, Scorpio. And there's a sense of autonomy that you gain because of this. And like you knew that it was something difficult, yet you knew it was something that you needed to move through. And I'm seeing you successfully doing that here. Yeah. There's so, so much energy where it's like constantly shedding, constantly walking away in order to find what it is that you're looking for. And this too means admitting as well, what's not resonating, what's not working any longer. What do you want to let go of? What do you want to still hold on to? What feels right for you to still be involved in and what you no longer want to be involved in? To go over the signs again, I'm looking at... I'm hearing something about dominoes. I'm looking at maybe the process. I'm looking at Libra, Cancer, Aries, and Scorpio. It seems too like there's something better in your grasp now because I'm kind of seeing you make that decision to be like, I'm going to find something more fulfilling to me. And it feels like you're getting to that place where, you, where you're actually finding that. So there definitely could have been a bit of a healing process that you needed to move through as well in shedding old skin. I'm seeing something about a candle here. Maybe you were doing like some type of cleanse as well. Something about old energy, like shedding old energy. Ah. Now I'm seeing something very stable and very grounded heading your way. This is something that may have taken some time. I'm hearing something about an accrual rate. Maybe something going on with finances as well. It's like financially you could have been waiting for something or waiting for something to build and it finally did and you're going to be receiving that. It's interesting. I feel like the, the last couple Scorpio readings have had finances tied into them in that sort of way. Like a sense of maturation when it comes to money or like sorting out financial issues or like getting advising when it comes to that. It's interesting. So I'm seeing now we have two. That's interesting. I'm hearing musical notes stacked upon one another. I'm seeing two people come through and it's like one is related to like finances and your security and the other one is related to um, emotions. Focusing on that, you may be getting two different messages as well. two different sources of information, two different people contacting you, but I'm seeing that they're for different things. Like one of them may be related to like your finances, your home, your security, things like that, things that are like in the physical realm. And then I'm seeing like something also emotional, but, and I mean, this can always be you. You could be deciding to like say something that's involving emotions to another person or somebody could be choosing to do this with you to communicate something when it comes down to what it is that they're feeling, how it is that they're feeling. Yeah, there's a decision that needs to be made. Like, you may have felt, um, 
you may have felt like there was a bit of resistance to communicating emotionally where you stood with something, but I'm seeing that the decision is going to be made to actually do this because I'm seeing it right next to Mercury here, which is about expressing ourselves, um, expressing, passing on information, letting somebody know about something. Again, I'm seeing this be related to emotions. Yeah, maybe you feel like you're slowly letting your walls down when it comes to how you're interacting with someone too. It's like maybe before you would have been more withholding and now there's a sense of being like, you know what, I have to make the choice to be vulnerable here and let this person know how I'm feeling. Maybe too, you feel in a way like getting vulnerable emotionally may also affect things like in the physical realm for you somehow you're gonna get four more cards and see how this plays out yeah it really feels like you're taking a chance with something i'm hearing a shot in the dark taking a chance with something that you may have like felt resistant towards because you were uncomfortable doing it but I'm seeing you take that risk here but it feels like a good risk it's like something that you're really putting your faith behind to do and something that you're just like you know what I need to say something um remember you can be the one that's on the receiving end of this because energies can be reversed but yeah there's like a really hopeful chance that you're taking and putting your faith in this For some of you too, this may be something that's going to affect your home life, your finances, your stability in some type of way, making the offer to this person or receiving this offer. And yeah, I am seeing it also have this sense of duplicity where emotions are involved as well. But yeah, it feels worth worth taking that chance. As I said before, you could have kind of been putting this off a little bit or being like, I'm not sure if I want to do that or not, but I'm seeing you like end up charging ahead. Even though it took like a while to process to get to this point, I'm seeing that you're going to end up doing it. This feels like something very new to me. I'm also getting a getting this sense too it's like you get to a point where you're like you know what? I'm just gonna do it that's what this feels like too yeah because because there's the hope there's the hope of this bringing you closer towards what you want so it's like it's worth the risk to be doing this wow this is really, really beautiful. This feels too like there was work done um, when it comes to the heart chakra as well. Because in order for you to be open to something like this, there definitely, like the heart chakra needs to be open for you to like take this sort of chance or risk and make a big decision for you, like taking a leap of faith, like reaching out to somebody or communicating something that like maybe puts you in a vulnerable place, some sort of offer. Again, I'm looking at emotions. And doing this in a way that's different than you have done before, I'm seeing with Uranus here. In a line, I'm looking at Uranus, Pluto, and Capricorn, and I'm also looking at Mercury here. It feels as well like you could have recognized that you were holding yourself within some type of box and maybe at a point in time you felt safe within that and like you felt very protected within that space but then there's that recognition that you're in that box and you're like you know what? I want to break out of this I want to be free and there's a sense of you like taking that chance to do this and I'm seeing that it's it changes something big for you in relation to like where you stand, how you're perceiving the world around you, and maybe even affecting a significant relationship for you as well. 
because it seems to like you could have caught yourself being like you know what I'm holding myself back in this way and even though it feels comfortable I'm not like feeling as fulfilled or as happy as I could be so there's a sense of like beating out the devil here in this way and the devil can give us like a false sense of security at times it's like physically you may feel like you're well off but then it's like where's that spiritual component and how am I bringing that into my life Where's that emotional component and how am I bringing that into my life? How do I want to be connecting more than I am? Because too with the devil, it like speaks about these things that are fleeting and short-lived and there's a sense of like not finding satisfaction within that. So there's definitely this search of like wanting more and being able to kind of beat this out by expressing yourself freely when it comes to the emotional space and making the decision to do so. Because Scorpio, I'm not seeing you backed in a corner here where it's like someone forcing you to say, I'm hearing admit how you're feeling and like things like that. This is a choice that you are deciding to make because you want to be connecting here. So it's like you choosing to be vulnerable in that way or take a chance in that way, regardless of how things come out, because you know that it's worth it to you. It's worth the risk. There's a sense, too, of maturity that you're gaining as well, practicing temperance, being patient with yourself, with your emotional process, feeling a sense of security, too, because you're in alignment, like working with spirit, too, especially when it comes to fears, because there is, too, a sense of being like, is this person going to take advantage of me, too? Is this job going to take advantage of me? Things like that. And I'm seeing that's also something that's being worked through too. In order for you to connect better with someone. Because you want to be authentic. So there's a sense too of letting your guard down. Like letting um, maybe a protective facade fade away as well. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.